Prosecutors in Cleveland say they may seek the death penalty against the man accused of kidnapping and raping three women and imprisoning them for 10 years. The lead prosecutor says the death penalty could result from aggravated murder charges stemming from pregnancies that Ariel Castro allegedly terminated by force, with new reports indicating he punched one of the women in the stomach until she miscarried. Castro's bond was set today at $8 million. Two of the women returned home on Wednesday, but we couldn't help but wonder about their emotional state. So that's why Megan O'Rourke asked a local expert about the recovery process. Megan? Mark, as the legal process begins, so does the recovery for the victims. Experts I talked to say it will be possible for them to heal, but it's going to be a long and difficult road. Tony Talbot is a University of Dayton human rights lecturer and co-founder of Abolition Ohio, the Miami Valley's human trafficking coalition. He spent years fighting to end modern-day slavery. Talbot says the case currently unfolding in Cleveland could have happened anywhere. Your first human reaction is to be shocked and just horrified by what happens. But intellectually, I know slavery exists. Talbot says he also knows recovery for sexual abuse victims is difficult but possible. A psychologist I talked to today at Women Line Counseling in Dayton agrees healing can happen in the Cleveland case. She says victims will experience feelings of guilt, shame, and embarrassment, as well as confusing feelings about their attackers. Talbot explains. Your whole universe collapses down to just being them. They become the center and source of everything, and in that intense trauma that's going on, they're still the person who every now and then like touches you or gives you food or gives you water and something called trauma bonding occurs. But the experts tell me with intensive psychotherapy sessions, the victims will be able to recover. It's going to take a long time, but human beings are very resilient. And, uh, you know, I have high hopes for the recovery. Now Talbot tells me there are resources available even here in the Miami Valley to help sex abuse victims. If you or someone you know is being abused, he suggests contacting the YWCA, Catholic Social Services, or the Daybreak Teen Center. All three offer services specifically for human trafficking. I'm Megan O'Rourke, 2 News, working for you.